Okay, welcome to 15.2, find the length of the hypotenuse. So there is a lot of vocabulary that you need to learn in this lesson. So the first word is hypotenuse. A hypotenuse is part of a right triangle. So we have to be able to tell right triangles from other kinds. So let's see who already knows what the difference between a acute triangle an obtuse triangle and a right triangle is. Copy them down and make sure you know which is which. That means right angle, that little square. And any triangle that has a right angle is called a right triangle. Right? A right angle has 90 degrees in it. Right? It looks like that. If you have an angle more than 90 in a triangle, it's called an obtuse triangle. It has an obtuse angle, it's an obtuse triangle, and it can only have one of those, or the triangle won't close. If all three angles are less than 90 degrees, we call it an acute triangle, because all three angles are acute, and the triangle is acute. What we're learning today only works for right triangles. So the length of the hypotenuse is the longest side. So the hypotenuse is the longest side. So which side is the hypotenuse? It's this one, right? Because five is bigger than four and three. But it's also, hopefully you can see it's longer, right? You can see it's longer, not just that it has a bigger number. And it's always a cross opposite the 90 degree angle. So in the other one, 13 is the length of the hypotenuse, the longest side, which is always a cross from the 90 degree angle. So this lesson is going to start with a lot more vocabulary. We're going to be able to find the length of the hypotenuse of right triangles if we don't know them as long as we know these two short sides. So let's make sure we know the difference. Look at the triangle you see there. You don't have any numbers now. Is it acute or obtuse? This is an obtuse angle. It's more than 90 degrees. It's more open. The distance between the two sides is more than 90 degrees. And therefore, this is an obtuse triangle. All the angles here, the sides are closer. You know, 90 degree angle can face the other way, but they're closer the sides than 90 degrees. This is an acute triangle. We're gonna be dealing with right triangles. The longest side is called the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Other triangles don't have a hypotenuse. The short sides are called legs. Write that on the correct spots. There are two legs that make the 90 degree angle. The hypotenuse is opposite the 90 degree angle. All right, we're going to spin right triangles around. Make sure you can still find the hypotenuse. The legs are making that 90 degree angle. The like hypotenuse is opposite it. So we are going to learn for the rest of this unit something called the Pythagorean theorem. The word theorem just so this is a rule that a gentleman named Pythagoras, a Greek, discovered many years ago. And what he discovered, if you take the legs, the length of one of the legs, and square it, take the length of the other leg 
and square it. It won't equal the hypotenuse, that's abbreviating hypotenuse, but it will equal the square of the hypotenuse, the sum of the squares, right? There's the sum, the sum of the squares of the legs of a right triangle. This only works for right triangles. Always equals the square of the hypotenuse. So let's label. So three and four are the short sides called the legs. The missing side we don't know is the hypotenuse. So we're gonna square the first leg, we're gonna square the second leg, and that's gonna equal the hypotenuse, I'm gonna use H for hypotenuse, squared. Three squared is nine, four squared is 16, that equals H squared. That should look like a quadratic equation from the last lesson. 9 plus 16 is 25. 25 equals h squared. So h could be 5 or negative 5. But the side of this can't be negative 5. So this is going to happen quite a bit as you go higher in math. The theory says that there's two answers. But in reality, we know the length of a side of a triangle can only be a positive number. So we're going to write h equals 5. I want you to write that negative number down and cross it out. So you know that the quadratic equation has two answers, but you're showing that it makes no sense. Those are notes just repeating that. So the legs are 5 and 12. There's the hypotenuse, right? So it's leg squared, the first leg squared plus the second leg squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So it's 5 squared plus 12 squared equals hypotenuse squared. 5 squared is 25. 12 squared is 144. That equals h squared. 25 plus 144 is 169. Luckily, we know the square root of 169, right? There are 13 and negative 13, but negative 13 makes no sense. So this hypotenuse equals 13. Hopefully you can see it looks a little longer than the side that's 12. Note the hypotenuse must be the longest side. So look at these four answers and cross two of them out. They can't possibly be the length of the hypotenuse. So it has to be 25 or 26. Pause the video, see if you can figure out which one of these it is. Twenty four times twenty four, not that hard to do, is five hundred seventy six. Uh-oh, we have to do the square root of 676. But I gave you a hint. The answer is either 25 or 26. Hopefully you realize that we know that 25 times 25 is 625. So I'll bet it's 26. Let's just double check. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Yes, 26 squared was 676. So in this one, you're going to have to count these sides. So that one's three boxes long. That one's four boxes long. Notice you can't count here. That's part of a box. There's another little fraction of a box. They all add up to a nice whole number, but you cannot count them. You have to use the Pythagorean theorem. Anytime you're finding a missing hypotenuse, you're using the Pythagorean theorem. The leg squared plus the other leg squared equals the hypotenuse squared. We've already actually done this triangle, right? Nine plus 16 is 25. And so h, notice these all say h squared till the end. Then we write 5, negative 5, cross it out. 
So the standard says that you can actually do this in 3D. So this is a box, right? And so hopefully you see there's a rectangle at the end of this box. And if we draw a diagonal FC, line segment FC, if you were looking at the side, that would be a right triangle. It would look something like that, where the legs are six and eight, and that FC is our hypotenuse. So find the length of FC. And finally, we have units. So we're going to put units on our answer, 10 centimeters. So we had just learned about perfect squares, but we also learned that sometimes we have irrational square roots. And that happens a lot in right triangles, actually. It's not rare. So you do 4 squared plus 7 squared equals h squared. 4 squared is 16. 7 squared is 49. 49 plus 16. 65. Well, I don't know the square root of 65, but we know that the length must be either positive of the square root of 65 or negative square root of 65, but that one will cross out. And what does the instruction say? Find the length of the hypotenuse. You may leave your answer as an irrational square root. So that's what we're going to write. That's an irrational square root. You're allowed to leave it. That's the way I always did it when I was your age in school. Nowadays, sometimes people will ask you to estimate it, right? If I asked you to estimate it, it wouldn't be that hard, right? The square root of 64 is 8, right? So this is approximately 8. It's a little bit more. It might be 8.1. It's either 8 or 8.1, depending on what we want to do. So this is a picture of a ladder leaning against the wall. This is the wall. This is the ground. Hopefully you see a right triangle there. It turns out you can figure out exactly how long the ladder is. If this distance from the top is 12, that's a leg. If this distance from the bottom of the ladder to the wall is 9, that's another leg. And we can figure out exactly how long the ladder is. Word problem, 15 feet. You may leave your answer as an irrational square root. So 73 equals h squared. So h equals the positive and negative square roots of 73. Yes, you can use that symbol, but you have to cross out the negative, so it's awkward to use the symbol. This length is the square root of 63, square root of 73, right? The square root of 64 is 8, the square root of 81 is 9. It's somewhere between 8 and 9. So if you peer down from the top here, hopefully you see a right triangle along the bottom. That looks like that. And so we can find this distance right here. This distance DGD, I called it, is a hypotenuse. Oh, and let me leave you with one last thing.